Hey guys, so after getting a lot of advice and talking to a lot of people, I think I'm going to try to bleed the clutch today. Uh, I tried to bleed the clutch today. So I have the reservoir cap open on the master cylinder and I went underneath and I opened the bleeder valve. Um, so I bled it out, had my wife step on the uh, clutch until uh, you know, it was pretty much pure fluid coming out and I capped it off. So we'll see if we can uh, get into gear and we'll see if this thing moves. So let's give it a shot. All right, so right now we're gonna start the car and I'm gonna see if I can even get into a gear. So we'll see what happens. Look out. guys so basically what I've tried is we had the car all jacked up I uh, opened the bleeder valve I tried to depress the pedal with some jack stands and bleed it that way that didn't work and then I was able to get my wife in here and press the pedal and use the bleeder valve and now maybe I just wasn't doing it right wasn't quite getting it but now we are at using a vacuum pump kit now <laughs> I watched some reviews after I had already bought this and some people had already told me this one's junk but we're gonna give it a shot anyway, and if it breaks, maybe I'll take it back to Harbor Freight and see if they'll, you know, throw in uh, throw in the value towards the uh, hooks up to the air compressor that uh, somebody recommended to me. But we're gonna give this one a shot and get the car up and see if we can bleed the clutch and uh, hopefully, you know, get some feel in the pedal. But uh, stand by, we'll get this thing back up and get under the car. All right, so I'm gonna loosen the bleeder valve again. Oh, she's bleeding. That's a good sign, I guess. But we're gonna loosen that. I'm gonna put this guy on top. Uh, right like that. I should probably loosen her some more. Huh. I probably should have loosened her a bit more. That's all right. Oh, let's keep that on there. I want to draw a vacuum. I go open the cap, make sure I got plenty of fluid in there. All right, now that we've topped off the reservoir, trying to take our little pump and start pumping her. Here's the deal. So I've tried bleeding this thing about a hundred different ways. Um, I use the, make sure this thing's tight right now. Which way is it? That's okay. All right. All right. So I've tried bleeding this thing a hundred different ways. Um, and I'm still getting no motion from the rod. Uh, now there's a bunch of gunk in there as you guys can see. And that rubber boot, when I touch it, it feels like, I don't know, but it feels like there's some, something in there. Like it's not, not fluid. Uh, what's it? I don't, I don't believe it's supposed to feel like there's a solid mass in there, but it feels like something built up in there. So I'm guessing I got to replace the slave. Uh, it's no big deal. I was watching that. And so I've already added, I already have it added in my cart on uh, Moss Motors. Uh, I'm going to see what else. All right, so zoom back out. All right, so a whole bunch of gunk down here. A lot of it is, a lot of it is undercoating. A lot of it is, that's tranny fluid right there. That's dripping from back here. So I gotta see what that is. Uh, it's dripping off of that, dripping onto the cross member. It doesn't look like the gasket itself is leaking the transmission, so that's 
but it's leaking and it's yeah it's getting all over the place it's very messy under here so i need to get under here some purple power clean her up let's look at this gasket here all righty oil pan looks pretty dirty that's just got to get cleaned off and that is is that oil coming from a plug or the gasket itself gasket seems all right i uh, might have a little bit seeping through it's 25 years old probably so i want to doubt it looks like it can be done under the car though as opposed to my grand marquee uh but i guess oil pan looks i'll have to clean it off and see inspect the damage here i might have to roll this thing out one day that's probably bad juju so look at that bolt over there i don't believe that's supposed to be loose like that uh, let's take a look at this guy. This one looks a little better. <laughs> I think it's loose. That's bad. All right. Well, good to them laying eyes on this sh this stuff before I got it rolling anyway. Tighten that down. But all right. Well, uh, we'll address this slave issue once I get a little more idea. I might get my mechanic friend over here to take a look at it with me if I can. But it's a uh, yep. Unfortunately, no progress today. Right, guys i kind of had a, a, a doofus moment here um i've been sitting there and you know pushing the pedal down and uh trying to bleed the clutch and i keep going to check like okay it's got to be it right got to be it and i get under the car and uh record try to record the slave move and it doesn't do anything and i'm like what the heck i've just bled it like crazy i mean I put a ton of i put probably about 16 ounces of fluid through this thing and I'm like, it's got to be bled by now, and nothing's happening. So I go again, and I was about to give up. I, was about, I have the part for the slave cylinder ordered in my car, or ordered my cart, and something against some better judgment. I came back, and I put my foot on the pedal, and I really pushed. Like, I pushed really hard, and pop! All of a sudden, I heard the slave cylinder move. I'm like, no way. So I get under the car, I put it back, and I think it's just <laughs> it's been sitting for 25 years. So I think the thing was a little jammed. It might still stand to be uh, swapped out, but honestly, uh, I'm I'm gonna see if this thing will move uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna start it up and see if I can back her out and take her around the block for about a maybe tenth of a mile and bring it back home. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, hope hope to bring that get to you guys uh, tomorrow. Uh, please, if you uh, enjoyed this video, uh, you know like and subscribe. Uh, we'll go through what we did. Uh, essentially, we took the first step, the first, the first test I did is I took the bleeder valve, I mean, I took the bleeder valve, and I had my wife step on the pedal. Well, that was a big mistake, because my wife is teeny, and I had to put my full force into it, and I'm 230 pounds. Um, then, I used the vacuum bleeder kit from Harbor Freight. A lot of bad reviews about it, but everybody was saying it was bad if you let it get into the gun. Uh, the, I didn't do that, and it worked great, just fine for me. I haven't had an issue. So, I mean, this wasn't a bad deal. It was 20 bucks or something like that. And I uh, was able to get the clutch bled. I'm going to add a little more fluid. And since I actually got it to move, I'm going to bleed it one more time just to verify I'm good. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a little shot and see if it'll uh, move on its own power. But we'll see what happens. All right. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'll see if I can bring the bring it being mobile to you guys in the next video all right please again like and subscribe that all ended with a bang 
Does look like I need a new slave cylinder because she is leaking. All right, well, appreciate you guys watching. We're going to uh, go ahead and get this ordered, I guess. It's, uh, yep, that is leaking. But hopefully, uh, hope I can get a part in pretty quick. All right, I guess until the next video. As you, all right, so as you guys can see, I'm leaking from that bladder. Um, yep, so that's got to be replaced. Uh, the hose appears to be good. I don't see any issues with the hose. So I might not replace the hose, but the, uh, the bladder or the uh, slave cylinder definitely needs to be replaced. Uh, when I pulled that pin, I had a really hard time getting that little, uh, that cotter, uh, the, uh, yeah, the other pin out uh, from the push rod. Uh, so if anybody knows the secret, is it screwed in or how do you push it out after you pull that cotter pin out? And it's mangled in there because I just kind of did that. It'll be prettier once I've uh, replaced this whole thing. But um, if anyone knows how to take that big cotter pin out from the push rod, uh, please let me know. All right, guys, as you, uh, this uh, video took a lot of ups and downs. I uh, went from feeling like complete failure uh, and thinking I had to order the parts to thinking, oh, crud, I made it work, uh, to knowing I have to order the parts. So go from there, and uh, hopefully Moss can get it to me as quick as they used to. But uh, with the pandemic going on, who knows how long that time's going to take. Um, but it, I thought it was like it wasn't very much for a slave cylinder. So we'll, uh, we'll get that part ordered and get it out here. In the meantime, maybe I can tackle some other stuff while this is up. Uh, I saw some issues with uh, the uh, front cross member um, and the, uh, the A-arms, or I think that's what they're called, the uh, lower control arms for the uh, front steering, or front wheels. So we'll probably uh, tighten those down because uh, one of them was really loose. Uh, I'm sorry this video was all over the place, but um, it was kind of sporadic me trying to uh, take care of this issue. Uh, please like and subscribe and follow the build. Um, I, you know, it's cars in better shape than I thought. There are some leaks. Uh, it'd be ideal if I could pull the motor and change out a bunch of gaskets. I don't know if I'll be able to do that here, but uh, we'll we'll see what, what's possible. Um, again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.